all my soccer universe. Well, I um, have not been feeling all that well these days, and I have to say, this is I was resting now that I have enough, have enough energy to make this video, which is basically one of the bigger joys of my day of making this. So, yeah, hope you appreciate the effort on my part. Um, but yeah, I hope I will be better uh, the next few days. It's just feeling weak. You know, I'm sitting here working, um, or I was doing a little bit homework with the kids today, and after an hour, I feel completely exhausted and I need to lie down. So that has been my day. I was better yesterday, um, but today was kind of a little bit of a setback. I hope it gets better. But I really want to get this video uh, done. What I'm, I'm also experimenting with one additional light to get a little bit more even light here you know it's the whole new setup with this being now more or less being my workplace as well um i had to experiment i mean now i have this nice background so i want to use it as long as i have to work from home as well and yeah i get now light from this side as well one from the front one from above so i think there should be enough light to see everything quite well I am wearing my 2006 France away jersey with Zidane on there. Yes, it's the headbutt jersey. It's also the jersey, I think it was on the 1st of July or something like that, where he played this wonderful, wonderful game against uh, Brazil. So yeah, a uh, very special jersey and I'm wearing it because uh, 10 years earlier Zidane was still playing for Girondin de Bordeaux and led them to a UEFA Cup final. And this is where we're starting with Bordeaux, the current Bordeaux home jersey. Um, in a way, this is your classic Bordeaux jersey uh, with a little twist. I mean, I, it's, dark, it's the dark navy blue, which actually I like, but I have to say, I never, <laughs> this sounds a little stupid, but I've rarely seen, a, at, le at least I've lit a Bordeaux jersey where I say, oh, I gotta have this one. But uh, I have to say, this one looks really uh, nice. The chevron, the classic uh, symbol of any Bordeaux uh, jersey, is maybe a little bit flat, but um, I like that it does something different. You have this gray band in there. Now, I gotta be honest, I wish it was not gray, but honestly, if this was uh, or silver, if this was a uh, red or whatever, a wine red, I think I, I would like it better. I do love the sponsor on there. Uh, it's just so playful, very French Bistro Région. So I think that is something I like a lot. We have, of course, the form straps in white, which you barely see. But you know, if you look at the collar, the collar just doesn't lift off. So there are the form straps. It's an interesting jersey. I also like that everything is kind of centered, which makes with the chevron it makes sense. We'll see on the next jersey how it can work if you have it spread out. But I think if you have it centered, you have to make it like this, um, where you have the manufacturer's logo at the crest and then the sponsor all in one. Uh, since like on this jersey, we don't have a number on the front, so it makes a whole lot of sense to do it this way. I really, I actually like this one. Um, I would give it uh, eight stars, like that. The away jersey um, it uses a very <laughs> similar style, but uh, now you have it white, you have the dark blue, but the chevron is much higher, which allows now the crest to go where you would expect it, and the puma cat also on the proper right. And then, uh, do you remember the swirl jersey yesterday, Amia? had it or, and ran as well here there's no swirls they just um, kind of double up the chevron which is very very high maybe a tad too high and then um, kind of a shadow pattern that slightly flattens to the bottom then you have kind of gray hoops on the bottom I think if you would have kept the chevron pattern all the way down I'm not sure how this pointing down would work, but I honestly think this would uh, have made more sense than uh, this messy, uh, you know, first getting steep and then flattening out and then falling uh, flat. I'm not a big fan. Yes, it's not a big feature because it's gray on white, 
but to be honest i think it looks messy i mean fortunately they have the nice sponsor over it so uh, you don't actually see it but uh, there exactly where the g is and there's a whole lot of mess going on there for that reason it's a useful jersey but it's not my absolute favorite jersey and i'm gonna drop uh it down just i mean i like the idea i just think the chevron is too small too little prominent i actually think ideally for a bordeaux jersey you make the chevron in such a way that it contains the puma cat and the crest i'm only gonna give this uh six stars and then we have the third jersey from i think they had it already last season i really really like this one uh i don't know why the red with the pinstripes that's just this is just a really classic look and the rugby style color it's a really nice looking uh jersey they also use a different sponsor on that one which also stays more with the jersey i think uh makes also more sense why do we the fade down there maybe this is something we can discuss but i also like that the crest has been recolored and then they have the red chevron there's something really cool about this one and i'm giving this um, I, I also, also want to give this 8 stars. I don't know now what I gave them last season, but 8 star jersey for sure. Um, I wasn't even thinking 9, but at the moment I'm thinking more 8. Then we go to uh, Lyon, the third place team from last season. We saw this already in the Champions League uh, jersey review, and I have to say the current Lyon um, home jerseys are bland boring almost white with gray stripes here and then just a little bit of red here and then the blue i mean the color comes from the sponsor and the adidas logo and the leon crest and a little bit what we have here on the sleeve cuffs the style of the jersey is not a bad one but it is bland and boring absolutely i there's nothing great about it and for that reason only five stars i mean run of the middle middle of the park a uh, little bit more exciting, or I should say a lot more exciting, is the away jersey. I have to say I really like the dark blue. Yes, I like dark blue jerseys. But here we have this light blue gradient in there. So it uh, kind of fades out uh, similar to what Barcelona had in 16, 17, was it? Somewhere there. Uh, where it was red that was uh, fading out. That's jersey has a lot more personality and it doesn't do much more i mean we have the classic fold over v-neck uh, with some red i was wondering if it looked better if it was wasn't uh reversed that we have a red and then the white around but i have to say it doesn't look bad at all i just wish maybe for a tad more red on the jersey but then you would have to make the stripes red and i think i like the stripes in white Maybe on the sleeve cuffs, whatever. Uh, it's not a biggie. Um, I think it's a, a pretty nice jersey, um, also with the sponsor on there. Uh, it, this is what I would expect from Lyon. Again, a little bit red missing. Um, maybe originality also, but it's a nice one. And I gave it seven stars and I'll keep with that. And then I think the most exciting jersey is the third jersey, but uh, this one is dividing opinion. This is the... A current adidas template you know last season we had all these checkers that were fading and now we have all these specs seemingly what nike did on the sleeves at the world cup uh, adidas puts now over the whole shirt kind of this random v pattern with some specs in there um usually it's tone and tone here they chose two colors um which on one side i really like on the other side it makes it looks garish in a way as well and then that the sleeves don't have it, yes, this is what we have to live now uh, these days. But that to me is a little bit of a downside. But um, yeah, here I get the red that I want. And there's, you know, uh, white is the tertiary, tertiary color here. Uh, so it's red, then blue, and then white. So uh, that I like, but it's a little bit, as I said, a little bit too crazy for that reason. Although I like the idea, I give it only six stars. Moving on to the east of France, uh, we have Metz and you know, they got promoted this year and Metz, whenever I think Metz, I don't think anything exciting. I mean, the crest is as simple as can, it can be this kind of double cross and then yeah, uh, dark red jersey with some white 
and two sponsors where the lower one is sitting a little bit too low. I actually think it might look better if they were flipped and uh, less space between them and that this, the car uh, of the sponsors almost inching up on the crest. I think that would look a little bit better, but this car avenue um, is sitting a little bit low. Again, average jersey, five stars. Don't need to talk much about it. Uh, same goes for the away jersey, where uh, actually, if you see the swoosh here is black, and then the, uh, on the back, I think it's also black, which I find a little bit odd because on the home jersey it was white. Um, still, at your average soccer jersey, Nike, boom, slap a crest on, put a few small bones on, and that's that. Uh, I have not looked it up, but honestly, this should not cost more than 40 50 bucks. I mean, they sure start seven, uh, charge 70 for it. I am almost certain five stars. Then we have a third jersey as well, and this is a little bit more adventurous and it uses the color of the year. In Italy, color of the year was kind of this the khaki green, everywhere else it's pink, 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 pink. So we have a black third jersey, makes a whole lot, lot of sense. And we have the raglan sleeves in pink, kind of like the France World Cup jersey a little bit. We even made the crest pink and then everything else in white. That doesn't make much sense, doesn't it? I actually think if the crest here was the cross in white, I think it would make more sense. Outline the crest in pink have the sleeves as a third jersey. I think it's all right-ish. However, I question the pink in there. But as far as black and pink jerseys goes, I mean, this is cannot go worse than that. I'm also inclined to give this five stars. It's not a six star to me. So let's keep it five stars. And Mets is your most average team in France. Um, similar designs we will see for uh, Montpellier and I am actually glad that we see that the Montpellier home jersey, I know this is now just cut off the, the model doll so it looks a little bit weird but that's how I would expect a Montpellier jersey. I mean you have the dark blue and then the orange sleeves. Uh, a gun is the absolutely horrible jersey from last season. This one I actually like and I have to, have to say I always had a liking for the Montpellier kits I remember an Adidas one that was kind of adventurous in the late 90s. Cannot do much wrong here, except there's maybe a little bit too many sponsors on there, but you know, they're sitting here high up, which is all right, and then in the center. I have to say the main sponsor fits nicely with the color scheme, so uh, kudos for that. Uh, is it the greatest jersey ever? No, but I think it's enough for six stars. It really pops and gives hits you right where it should. Uh, the away jersey then hmm, loses all the orange and dark blue. This is white with black. Boring. Boring. And then uh, even the the sponsor that was so nicely fitting on the home, home jersey, why is it here in red? Use some orange and make all the accents in dark blue. I think it would look much, much better. I actually have to say that uh, unless you told me it's a Montpellier jersey, if you look at the crest, it doesn't look anything like Montpellier anything like like I mean, this is black and white this is this is how you take a simple jersey and completely uh, take off anything that, ha that it has to do with the club I'm I'm gonna give this three stars I was thinking about worse but for worse you need to really put uh, deep in the pile of SHIT uh, and then the away jersey <laughs> yeah red and the same thing, also three stars, I don't want to talk, talk about this, and not colors for Montpellier. And we're gonna finish with Strasbourg, and unfortunately I forgot to use the scarf that I have for Strasbourg, I will show it more, but you know, there is some Strasbourg that I have, so let's land, land, and pull it around for that one, to make up for that, I should have put it back on there. Um, Strasbourg home jersey, yeah, we saw this with Lyon, this is the same template, and here we have it in kind of tone and tone, a um, blue and a lighter blue. Makes it a little bit uh, less garish, more bearable, 
However, then there's this huge sponsor on there. And the other thing I have to have this is Strasbourg. You have this crest that is light blue with a red sash. Why don't you use this on your jersey? Why do you make the blue so dark? I always thought that Strasbourg has, has, has a much lighter blue, although if you look at the scarf here, yeah. However you like, I mean, maybe there is a, the, the dark blue is alright. Still, something's a little bit missing there, if you ask me. Um, the jersey itself is alright, but you know, it fits right with the other jerseys that, that we've seen. They're mostly middle of the park, and for that reason, I'm gonna give this six stars. I have to say that the sponsor on there is huge, but the green actually doesn't really um, miss it. Uh, it is kind of short friendly, but you know, again, as with many French jerseys, there's a lot of sponsors on there. The away jersey is a lot more interesting. The only thing I don't like is um, that there are way too many colors on there. And I'm just now wondering whether this isn't the home jersey. I No, this is the away jersey. So again, too colorful. Um, I think the gray, you know, this white and the grayish in there, uh, this weaved pattern, this actually does look bad. I mean, uh, as far as gray jerseys goes, this is probably as good as it gets. I just find the sponsors highly distracting and not making it, this jersey stand out. You almost don't see the crest on there and there are so many colors that have nothing to do with the crest in a way that I'm kind of uh, pulled off by this one. And for that reason, I'm sorry Strasbourg, only three stars. Sorry for all these interruptions in the Strasbourg video, but yeah, let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below which jerseys you liked and which ones you dislike. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos tomorrow. I hope I'm fitter and we'll talk about the part four about the remaining teams of Liga. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!